from hockey, let's do rugby now. And Ghana is seeking to give, uh, qualify rather, to the first ever rugby sevens, which will be happening later this year. My colleague, Asari Bidiakon, has the rest of the story. The national rugby team, the Eagles, are 100% focused on securing a ticket to their first ever Sevens World Cup, and they have left no stone unturned in their preparation for the final shootout scheduled for next month. The male rugby team, after their heroics in the pre World Cup qualifier in Kumasi last year, November, will be competing in Uganda for an enviable place in the Sevens World Cup. To ensure the team is in good physical shape for the tournament, the Ghana Rugby Football Union, headed by Herbert Mensa, has introduced a series dubbed the Barbarians Sevens. Head coach of the Eagles, Love Mokuzerera, has underscored the importance of the weekly competition. So as you can see, we are using this tournament as a scale or as a way to see those guys who can also raise their hands if they can play national squad and also the guys who have already been playing in the national squad. Uh, we are taking this opportunity as well to work on our fitness, match fitness, uh, before we get in the tournaments. If you look at previous tournaments, we normally get in these tournaments normally the day one, day first game, second game, we struggle because of uh, match fitness but this time around we are trying to work on that so much that when you get in the tournament we start off on high because the guys will be properly ready for contact because normally the most important thing is contact related fitness so we normally like that on the first day but we are preparing for that even for both men and women that's why we are playing these matches member of the male rugby team Percy Christian Adams is happy with the work ethic of his colleagues. You know, in rugby, we we, we, we don't joke because it's two uh, kind of forces coming together to collide or pass or do things together. So maybe if you limit your force and the other person, the opponent forces come and add to yours, maybe you can get hit or something like that. So you have to make it competitive, play as hard as you can because what you do now on the field is what you play, your, the, the training you do is what you play on the field. So if you train slow, you play slowly. If you train hard and you, you put in your maximum effort, when it's game time, you do the same thing. The female rugby team will also be in action next month. And after taking West Africa by storm, their main target is to book a historic ticket to the Women's Sevens World Cup. Here is Dorothy also answer. The target is to qualify for the World Cup and the Commonwealth Games. And then we are trying hard as possible to get girls, get boys, train hard, get our fitness level up there to where the other teams will we'll meet them and then we'll play to their level and then we'll win and come back to Ghana. Very impressed because since we started week, week one, um, we saw our uh, disadvantages and what we are supposed to do and what we are not supposed to do. And on, as ongoing, our coach is talking to us on things that we are supposed to do and not to do. So we are, we are trying to do this every week to see our mistakes. But by the time we go to the tournament, we know our mistakes and then we correct them and then we play better there. The Eagles are keen on soaring to higher heights and only lack of hard work can clip their wings.